Chamisa Alfer, the environmental supervisor on the gas to energy project, shows us around the project site. From Old Boystown in Georgetown, she has been working here for about a year now. Do you think about what it will mean for you and your family and other Guyanese? Okay, so right now what I can say in this present moment, not only does this project create job opportunities for myself and fellow Guyanese, but in the future, it will not only significantly reduce or alleviate the constant blackouts that we have in this country, but also the liquefied petroleum gas, also known as cooking gases, will be the prices of it will be significantly reduced, as well as, as electricity bills. We visited on an overcast day, but you can still see how remote the area is and the scale of the project. This is what it will look like in the end, an integrated natural gas liquids plant with a 300 megawatt electricity plant. The gas is coming from the giant Lisa oil field, where ExxonMobil and its partners are currently producing oil. It's the gas coming from those operations that will be used onshore. The gas will be channeled from the Lisa field through the Atlantic Ocean. Once it lands onshore, around the area of Crane on the west coast of Demerara, it will then be piped to this site at Hermitage, an area located within what will be the Wales Development Authority on the west bank of Demerara. The project was contracted to two American firms in a joint venture, Linsica and CH4. Works began on the site almost a year ago, and the focus has been on getting the foundation right. We spoke to construction manager Bernardo Perez. We are right now developing the whole project. Mm. We have been going through the, through the soil remediation as a phase one stage. Sorry, what did you say? You're going through what? A soil remediation, which is improve the soil so we can build over it, okay? So we can do the construction over it, a safe construction and a quality construction. This complicated exercise at oil remediation leads to piling work and then the concrete foundation for the plants. Once the gas is processed, it can then be used in multiple ways, as leading officials explained in this video released by the company. The main one is power. So the lighter ends of the gas, methane and ethane, are usually used to fire turbines and therefore generate electricity. By using natural gas to fuel the power station, we'll be displacing heavy fuel oil. The emissions from natural gas are somewhere around half of those that are from heavy fuel oil. So a significant benefit to the environment. You can also use gas to feed factories. So for example, a glass making factory, a fertilizer making factory could be powered with this gas. The heavier liquid parts of the gas are actually used for the domestic market, uh, as in the gas that we use to cook with, as well as powering other industries. An estimated 300 workers are engaged in this project towards an initial startup next year. They include young people like Shamiza, who we met earlier. So all the aspects related to the environment, the air, the soil, water, noise, basically I'm in control of all the monitoring, monitoring requirements, all the reporting for the EPA, I'm responsible for that, overseeing our subcontractor, ensuring that they're compliant with environmental standards, everything like that I'm in charge of basically. Part of our job is ensuring the local communities are engaged in what is happening here. There is a few of us from different departments, HSC, contracts, uh, quality departments. Usually we go out in the community and we ask them like e effects, what is happening here, what is bothering We try to mitigate that as much as possible, working along with them and ensuring that their voices are heard. This is a complex operation and to ensure the site is secured is another young Guyanese. Working on the project has helped them see the importance of it and what it holds for the future of Guyana. This is the biggest project I've worked on and it's going to be significantly um, good for our country because it's going to, one, give us stable electricity and we have sufficient that we could even give to our uh, neighboring countries. That's the amount of uh, electricity, electricity we're going to be able to generate. The complete project to bring the gas onshore and processing that gas to produce electricity, cooking gas and other products will cost almost two billion US dollars. Well, it's a, a very, very beautiful project, very uh, ambitious project that will be giving uh, additional energy 
to the development of the country of, the, of Guyana. Indeed, what is happening here is set to generate affordable and stable electricity, a long cry for ordinary Guyanese and businesses. The potential it holds for revolutionizing the manufacturing and productive sectors in the country, even making Guyana a key player in the regional energy market, makes it a project that is closely watched. For the newsroom, I'm Neil Marks.